What up guys, your boy NC Native, and I seen a lot of comments last video saying the game didn't look that much better. It does look better, for sure. Lighting looks better. I think some of the player models definitely got reworked, especially some of the historic players. But yeah, I, I think this game looks pretty dang good. And that's and that's just not forget, 2K17 didn't look bad. So I don't, I don't know what you guys were getting at, but hey, it is what it is. But I think this game looks really good, um, especially the body types. The body types really catch you. Um, but yeah, you have to you have to see it for yourselves, man. You gotta see it for yourselves. Last video was in 480 for some reason, but I want to make sure this is definitely gonna be HD. Um, I don't know what was going on with the last video, but yeah, today we're gonna go over some defense, Ohio Phillips on defense, and we're gonna be watching some all-time heat versus all-time rappers. Let's get it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more content. We definitely have a lot more gameplay, playgrounds, all that good stuff, man. We got a lot of stuff. This is just the this is just the beginning. Now let's talk about defense. As you can see, they're over the top of my player's head. There was like some little communication. That's the new feature that I love on defense. It's called defensive communication. It tells you when to go over, under, switch, all that good stuff on defense. So if you are new or advanced in the game, I would still recommend you turn it on. It's not on by default, but it's something that is very dope, and I really do like it. Um, it can help you a lot. You don't have to follow it. Now, you don't have to follow it. Um, as you can see here, um, you can watch, and I did go under on screens with the Rosen um, because I don't trust his jump shooting. Even though it said go over, I still went under. I paid for it like once, but the majority of the time when he did shoot the ball, he missed because he's not a great shooter, and I took advantage of that. I believe defensive communication is in the coaching settings, and I definitely would turn it on. Like I said, a lot of people do not know how to play defense, and they're always complaining about defense when they don't do it right so this does help you out it's just like how real nba players are on the court telling saying switch switch go over go over go under you know it, it, it happened that's basically how that is so i really like this feature i recommend it for everyone uh, advanced or new um, but yeah let's get into defense in general defense in general feels a lot better um there are instances where it you know you can pay if the offensive player is good and your defender is bad they can really cross you over not not break your ankle but blow past you you know what i'm saying um now i really like how contests feel um contests feel a lot better to me you're not getting those instances where you got like a, a role player making a crazy contested shots on you all the time i feel like superstars can still make a couple of contested shots but it's not it's not how it used to be man it doesn't happen all the time and it feels really good you feel rewarded for playing good defense and you feel like really good um like i was saying in the last video when i would go up for a layup and i would go up with my right hand and somebody was on my right and it was contested more often than not it missed you know what i'm saying so they felt good for playing great defense man it, it rewards you for playing good defense it also rewards you for making good decisions on defense also like double teaming double teaming feels a lot better it's not super op and it doesn't get you all caught up in these animations it's really nice Double teams are really nice. You're going to see, I'm actually going to post some gameplay, a full game of the all-time Sixers versus the all-time Lakers. And I actually utilized the double team in quite some instances, so I definitely would pay attention to that when I do post it. I didn't do that many in this video here. But double teaming definitely feels a lot better. They revamped it. They revamped uh, pick and roll defense. Um, as you can see here, the computer doesn't just help. He might just show a little bit. He'll show, he'll come over, ice him. You know, they do all this, these different things on defense now. And they don't, like, pick a roll isn't OP like it used to be. As you see here, Kyle Lowry stayed on me. Even though it's a mismatch, he didn't just leave me. You know what I'm saying? He didn't leave me. But I took advantage of the mismatch. I want you guys to really pay attention on pick and rolls during this video. How the AI reacts. It's really dope. Like I said, it feels a lot better. Just pay attention to defense during this video, guys. Pay attention to defense. It looks and feels a lot better. I can see here, they're trying to set a screen and get him open. I'm there, Vince Carter. I am there. Great defense. You get rewarded, man. I'm telling you. Um, let's quickly go over alley-oops. As you see here, I'm throwing the alley-oop. I was covered. I was covered. Didn't even touch the ball. That is another thing. It's really hard to do alley-oops this year, man. It's not easy. You're not just going to get an animation and just dunk it. Even when you're, you know, when you're covered on three people, with three people. It doesn't just happen like that, man. It has to be a really good alley-oop pass. And I like that. That's real NBA stuff. Now, if I have a two-on-one, more often than not, the alley-oop is going to go in. Two-on-one, all right? But if I'm just throwing alley-oops to throw alley-oops and I'm covered, it's not going to work for you guys, man. It's not going to work. It's a little bit harder. Um, I didn't see a lot of rim stuff, though. I did not see a lot of rim stuff. I, when I did pull off alley-oop, it was a good alley-oop. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't a lot of rim stuff like it, had, like it was in the, like, the past two, two Ks. But like I said, I threw it to good dunkers. I didn't just throw it to random people. You know what I'm saying? So it felt a lot better. All right, so see, I'm just testing out alley-oops, man. I'm just trying to see how it is. 
And like I said, if you heavily defend it, somebody in your passing lane, somebody in your lane of trying to get the ball, you will pay for it, man. That's a turnover, man. I like it, man. I really do. I really do like that. Let's go ahead and get into on-ball defense, man. On-ball defense feels good. But you can tell if you have a weak defender, they will slide a little bit more, which isn't a bad thing. That's like real life. If Kyrie Irving going against a poor defensive point guard, what he going to do? He going to eat him up, right? He going to eat him up. So it's like real life. But the AI is so good with help defense now, in my opinion, that it, it doesn't hinder you when you have it. It doesn't like penalize you for having good, a bad defender. They, they help you out, man. The help defense is really good. Um, it's like real NBA basketball, man. It's like real NBA basketball. But yeah, defense does what, when you when you play with an elite defender, man, you can clamp. I really like that. You can really clamp. Um, on ball defense just feels good as in a whole. You just have to watch out. You just have to watch out what you're doing. You have to anticipate what the player is going to do. But if you anticipate the wrong way, you will pay. I'm just gonna let you know that right now. Um, but those animations where you used to be in the post defending and everything. And all of a sudden, you have your hands up. You're just keeping your hands up. You're not even jumping or anything, but it puts you in the jumping animation. I did not see that a lot this year, man, when I played. I did not see that a lot at all. As you see, I'm just keeping my hands up. I'm there. Hands are up. I get a block. You know what I'm saying? I get a block. It is really good to play defense, man. You can really play defense. You're not getting stuck in all these crazy animations um, that you can't control. They did a really good way. Of, they did a really good job of just making it free-flowing you know what i'm saying it's just free-flowing and it really feels good um you have to play it you have to play it to see what i'm talking about man it just feels really good if you have any questions leave it in the comment section i will definitely answer your questions on defense but um yeah man um another thing i want to get into is rebounding my god i was playing dimes i was playing dimes he used the pelicans i used the current miami heat and at one point the heat moved winslow to the four my God, Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins ain't my team. Up. Even with Whiteside out there, Whiteside can't do it all by himself. So what will happen is DeMarcus Cousins would box out Whiteside, and then Anthony Davis would just eat up wins. So offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, everything. So rebounding does matter. Size matters. Weight matters. Strength matters. Box out. All that matters. There's battles for rebounds. Watch out, man, because you you trying to run that that small four at the the four. You might pay for it on the rebound in this. You better be taking smart shots, man. I really like that, man, because that's just like real life. Like I said, unless you got like a Draymond Green, who is on the size four, he can get rebounds, though. He can box out. He has good box out stats. That's the key. Good box out stats. See, look at that. Got a rebound with Shaq. I think I'm going to leave it there, man. I'll go into more detail about defense in the comment section. Make sure you guys, if you have any questions, I will go over in the comment section. I don't want to bore you guys out, man. There's a lot to go over, but I will be answering questions in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're new. And also, turn on post notifications because I got a lot of gameplay coming up, man. I got a lot of neighborhood playgrounds gameplay. I got Lonzo Ball gameplay coming up. I got a full game on post. I'm going to post a full game without any commentary so you guys can just listen um, to the game sounds, all that good stuff, man. So make sure you like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Make sure you comment down below. It's your boy, NC Native, and I am out. Peace.